I, I remember clear blue skies, buses all the way down the main street, people getting on buses and leaving Spennymoor and we're on the players coach obviously on our way down. The players, everybody's up for it. Back to like you said, the scenes. Obviously when we walk around again, the buses where there was 14, 13, 14 buses parked up there and the thousands of people walking about, it was unbelievable. Men's pride, um, you know, the pride of when to get to a final, you know, because I was only stood with Tommy a year ago watching the Harrogate Brackley final, um, you know, and then a year later we're actually involved in it. Spennymoor won a dramatic sudden death penalty shootout last weekend to book their place in Sunday's playoff final at Chorley. It was an emotional day for manager Jason Ainsley, whose day job is head of year 11 at Mortimer Community College in South Shields. He's taken the club to four promotions in his time there, win at the weekend and it'll be five. I think it was 10 years ago we were playing the Northern League second division in front of 50 people um, and we went to Brackley in the semi-final of the playoffs and we took 600 supporters and I believe there's about 14, 15 coaches already uh, sold out for the game against Charlie. So you just have to pinch yourself on the journey that we've been on with the Vars final Wembley win 2013, the first round proper tie in the FA Cup against Milton Keynes and, and, and like I say, a couple of Evo stick promotions uh, amongst the way. But Jason knows he'll have to do more than play the percentage game at Chorley. It, it's mad how things just pan out because we, we beat them the second last game of the season 1-0 in the 93rd minute to, to prevent them winning the league. So it's Sod's Law that we're going there and, and they've got an opportunity to, to take that place instead of us. We've beat them twice this season, you know, that goes out the window in the playoffs. Um, it's a really tough place to go, we'll give everything we can. We've got a fantastic group of footballers at the club, a fantastic management team behind me and I'll be walking on air on Monday if we, if we manage to accomplish what we need to do. I, I remember clear blue skies, buses all the way down the main street, people getting on buses and leaving Spennymoor and we're on the players' coach, obviously, on our way down. The players, everybody's up for it. Getting texts and messages from everywhere, all around uh, the North East, and, and, and many friends I have around the UK wishing us all the best. And the whole day was a fantastic experience. To see the amount of buses that were there, uh, to come through the Spennymoor end and see, you know, 1,300 supporters there, sunny, sunny, sunny day. Best atmosphere yeah, I've probably been there, but it's been a game. It's like everyone, like that many people in, in that area, and just everyone singing, and then nerves, excitement, everyone. Come back to like you said, the scenes, obviously, when we walk around again, the buses where there was 14, 13, 14 buses parked up there, and the thousands of people walking about, it was unbelievable. It was a cagey game, it, there was nothing in the game, they had a bit more possession than we did. We didn't create a great deal. Did we deserve to win the game over 90 minutes? No, I don't think we did. And there's a kick-off at the end of the half here. Taylor's just been stood on by someone, I think. 
Williams is just riding pain after lying flat. It's all got a bit unsavoury. And then Ryan Hall's lifted away, can he get away from Cotton? Go on, Ryan! He's skimmed Cotton, he's trying to bring him down! Ryan Hall! Go on, go on! Ryan Hall! Go on, son! Finish it! Oh! Australia Keeper, what a run! Oh! And it's brought to the week of the near post! Oh, it's Bunch over the wall, it's headed over! Long ball forward, it will in behind. Marvin's going to get it, he's just hit down! Carver over the bar! Wow! Full time. It's full time at Victory Park. A roller coaster ride with Spenny Miller Town, but it's not over yet. It's going to be Blakeman, it's Blakeman this time, it's a good save called, tips around the post. In swing, six yard box, it's going in, one nil, it's all the lead. And the Millers have conceded so many set pieces. One of them was bound to tell. <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't remember really, it was everyone was just piling on every time, everyone just jumping around us. And it's the war, it's going to be a push now, but when Taylor scored, it was just unreal. It's broken to deliver the resulting cross, glanced on. And this is brought down in the tenth spot, he's still a good chance! wife and me, mum were there, me wife and stepdad was there. It was just a, obviously an amazing occasion and to score and have that kind of moment to remember in your career is class. I thought so, I thought we had like everything behind us at that point, so I thought we were going to go on and win it. Full time, and for the second playoff game in a row, spending more time going penalties. Anderson has a chance to put Mewers ahead in the penalty shootout from 12 yards. Massive run up, right footed. Goal! Goal! Anderson scores. Goal! Right in the corner. Consummate from Brogan. And Mewers maintain their goal lead. And yeah, it's a good step up a straight run up. Oh, Here he comes. Goal! Goal! Well, it looked like he'd hit the post and come out. It's a short run up. Right footed. Oh, right in the corner. What a penalty. Andrew Johnson needs to score. Here comes AJ.
know, to see the disappointment on their faces, you know, that's probably what made me crack a little bit, you know, because I'm an emotional person as it is. But I felt I kept it strong that, uh, on the pitch until I seen them lads in tears, you know, and it just shows you what it meant to the group. You know, we had some really disappointed players in that dressing room. I'd love to take you back again and take the penalties again. <laughs>